Studying curious forms of animal communication, we have often asked such questions as these. And we have been led to great surprises. These future butterflies are still in their larval phase of development, eating and growing. They appear to have decided to spend this stage of their lives together. They move as a group. They all eat at the same time on the same plant. They even sleep clustered together in a pseudo-communal cocoon. Their gregarious behavior is complete. For them, number is a means of protection. The down or fuzz that covers their body is also a weapon. Like many caterpillars, they are characterized by having poisonous hair. When they sense they're being attacked, they double up violently and activating a few special muscles, they shoot their diminutive stinging or urticant hairs. The proximity of our hands or the cameras was not what frightened them, however. And yet, we unconsciously did something which awakened their defensive instinct. What was it that caused that reaction? A little while later, it became clear to us. It was our voices. As it is assumed that caterpillars cannot hear, at first we believed it must have been the air we expelled when speaking that their sensitive hairs detected, vibrations that must have convinced them that a predator was nearby. But simply blowing did not provoke the same response. It even seemed to calm them down. It was the sound then, but, but no. As can be seen clearly in the images, a normal sound doesn't frighten them. Only when speaking did we establish communication. An incredible auditory behavior, perhaps even absurd.